let's say that you refuse to fail in this game. I mean, we could use any example, but essentially, uh, and I'm going to use an example first, just because it's going to make more sense. You have put up a line between two trees and you're going to walk on that line. And it's not so dangerous to fall off. I mean, it's just 40 centimeters down to the ground. But if you're going to spend 40% of your mental capacity to think about you standing on the ground, while the only thing you wanted was to, to walk on the line, well, in fact, it wasn't the only thing you wanted. 40% of what you wanted was to stand on the ground, right? That's 40% of what you're energizing. And then uh, maybe you're energizing 10% with your laying on the ground, right? You, you just completely fell. <laughs> and then 50% standing on the line. Well, it sounds like you have a 50-50% chance of succeeding now. Because all in all, you have 50% standing on the line, 50% not on the line. And if you are going to refuse thinking about uh, standing on the ground, then how much are you refusing it? I mean, you have 100% capacity right now. Are you going to spend 50% of your capacity to think about standing on the ground? So you could call it refuse. You could call it, imagine that you're standing on the ground. I mean, anything else whatsoever that is not of you being on the line. If the only realm that you are creating is of you being on the line, then how could you possibly resonate with falling? Right? Let's say that you refuse to fail in this game. But, but that's a low consciousness thing. It's not a very high frequency thing you you will become aware of a more higher frequency consciousness way of thinking about it that is going to create the outcome you want so you understand that you can fail in this game right but but with a high consciousness you understand that that first and foremost if you intend to win you're going to resonate with winning and right there you, you are standing in this uh, this scenario that that it just makes no point to be afraid of it because either you you win by energizing winning which will create winning or you 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 have some fear of losing because it would suck to lose but but by doing that you are energizing losing so so you you are in a picker now you have these two choices either you follow the rules and you are guaranteed to succeed or you you are somewhat energizing failing and you could fail. But then you raise your consciousness more. And then the whole fear of, of um, completely letting go of the, uh, the negative thoughts. I mean, it's, it's going to fall away. You have so high consciousness now that you don't see it as a... a there is no point in thinking like that. And it is a different realm. You, you have truly stepped into a realm where you are focusing on winning and you're resonating with the choices that will make you win and you are winning. And it has nothing to do with uh, being a little afraid of failing or thinking about failing. So you see there are several uh, levels of consciousness to it and early low consciousness can be um, that you're afraid to lose and then a little higher level of consciousness could be that oh so i need to to fully energize winning and resonate with winning 
and then I will win. But at the same time, you, you haven't fully stepped into to that high of a consciousness yet. So you still have a little, uh, a little fear of losing, which means that you're energizing losing. You're thinking about losing a certain percentage of your capacity is used to, to thinking about losing and resonating with losing and seeing yourself lose. So the better you understand the rules, and in this case the rule would simply just be what goes around comes around, you know, the better you understand it, the, the more natural it's going to be for you to just completely commit to it and let go completely of um, the lower frequency mindset. Because what goes around comes around, well, I might just as well completely commit to winning, because then I will win. And then you do that till you are completely used to doing it. You are then eventually at some point completely in the realm of winning. And you're just uh, with a steel focus, just uh, aimed in on winning. And that is everything you do. And it has nothing to do anymore with losing. Right? So it's just a frequency issue, of course, <clears throat> like it always will be. Uh, but when, the, when your consciousness is high enough, which it will be at one point if you truly want to win and you're truly determined to uh, acting in a high frequency way, uh, then you will uh, you will see that you you must simply just go for it, and it's so easy too if that is what you truly want. Well, if if you truly want to reach nine eleven and set yourself free, and finally stop stumbling around in lower frequencies and being upset and confused and overwhelmed. Then, then you will, um, first and foremost, then you want it. You truly want it. And when you truly want it, then you will eventually reach that level of consciousness where you see that you just have to, to go for it. There is no point in being split about it anymore, where you partially remain in a idea that ah, it would suck to lose and start uh, recognizing all the potential scenarios of what it would look like if you lose or what you could do that would uh, make you lose and you would simply just you would go for it because there is no other choice you you have to be a winner and then you will resonate with winning. Right? <clears throat> it's super simple. But when you see it now that it's just the frequency levels. So let's say that a fifth dimension will be still a very low frequency compared to ultimate highest frequency. Which means that, that in highest frequency you, you see the consciousness for what it is, that what goes around comes around. There is no point in energizing anything else than what I truly want, and then I will get what I truly want. But in fifth dimension, you might still have a lot of, of uh, fear still, right? That you, you're still energizing that, oh, it would suck to lose, right? But then you keep working. In seventh dimension, it's going to be very different. But then there's barely anything left of uh, what if I lose and whatever. Then you have a, a, a higher dimensional comprehension of the truth. And, and why should you behave in any other way than what makes sense? Right? At that point in seventh dimension, eighth, ninth, you know, it's starting to really make sense that, oh, you should just go for it. Right? Because that's when you're going to get exactly what you want. Right? 
and and all the fear is gone eventually what about if you have a specific fear that is uh, really yeah well you need to i mean because it's obviously bothering you you need to take a little time and sit down and look at it and boost the consciousness of it and see is it rational exactly what is my approach to this how am i really perceiving it how should i perceive it in the highest frequency and uh, and now you are working with it and you will figure it out if you truly want to well, what about when other people are involved and it's uh... You know, you're being affected by other people in your life. Yeah, it would still be a part of the work, and is that a... Well, how can you be free in uh, those close relationships then? Well, a part of doing the work and sitting down and recognizing the, the things that are causing you to be in that frequency while doing that you will find solutions because you really want to and there can be several ways of dealing with it but essentially you are now experiencing a level of frequency which would be totally different if your level of frequency was higher right your experience would be totally different and and it's irrelevant if there was people involved or if whatever because the approach and the way of uh, having that experience would be totally different if the frequency was higher so whatever problem it is it's always just a problem it's a frequency issue right it's a phase and uh, you can find a better solution a better way of dealing with it which would be a higher frequency right it would set you free more and uh, there are so many variables I mean it's so many life uh, scenarios so many different problems you know if if you recognize that something is bothering you you should only figure out if you truly want to overcome it and then you will you will find a a tailored uh, approach to dealing with it an approach that wouldn't work with any other things because you know that other scenario didn't have people in it so you didn't have to consider that right but do you truly want to overcome it do you think you can right do you want to then go ahead right just sit down <clears throat> maybe even with pen and paper or lay down in bed and dedicate your time at that moment to to gain clarity about exactly what is bothering you what you are experiencing and how you want to have that experience instead <laughs>